In this video, we are going to cover a Java 8 programming interview question which was asked to me in JPMC. So the question was, they, uh, they gave me one string and they assigned some random value to it and they asked me, like find number of times each character is coming up in this string, okay? So what we have to do is, first of all, we have to use this input and so we have to convert it into the cares, okay? So this is basically a int of string. So now we will convert it into the object, map to object, because we have to apply some operations on that. So what we will do is we will convert this whole string either to the lower case or to the upper case. The reason behind that is if we will not do, then this T and this T will be considered as two different characters that we don't want. Okay. So that's why we are going to use the lambda expression here and we are going to convert into the lower case okay and what we want to convert we want to convert the character dot value of each cat okay so here is the cat and this s will return each and every cat okay so now after this we have to collect it back to some object right so that's why we are going to use collect so inside this collect we have to find how many times each character is coming up right so inside this collect we have one method uh, class called collectors and inside this we are having grouping by so this grouping by method is basically an overloaded method if you want to know more about this grouping by you can go and check out my previous video or I will go I will give the link in the description so here inside this I'm just using this uh, this overloaded method where we are going to pass two argument okay so the first argument is like here as this u this b will be treated as a different identity okay it should be treated as different character so what we can do is we are going to use this function dot identity so each and every character should be treated as different identity and how many times that identity is coming up for that we are going to use collectors dot counting okay so now this line of a code will give you how many times each character is coming up in this particular string okay and it will return you a map okay so this is the map and in this case the key will be the character and the value will be the long okay and I'm just giving it as a result so here character will be like s and how many time it is coming up that is value that is going to be long okay so now just let me print it Yeah, if you see A is coming two times, B is coming two times, C is coming one time. Okay, so this was a question which was asked to me, and uh, after this, also he asked me one more question which was in continuation to this. So I'll just use it again. So the question he asked me find the first non repeated element in this okay so this is what it is returning and I have to find first non repeated element so the first non repeated element is C so I have to find out this so what we can do is so I'll just replace this okay so after this I'm going to use entry set because I want each and every entry set this is one entry set this is second entry set okay so I want to find out the entry set and on entry set I'll be using this stream and on that I'll be using the filter because I want to filter out the first non repeated okay and here I'll just use the x the lambda expression x dot get key and how I have to find out the key uh, sorry the value the value should be equal to 1 if the value is equal to equal to 1 that will be the first non repeated correct right so that will be 1 L and after that we will just map and uh, yeah that's it I mean this is also fine and uh, dot find first because if I will apply this it will give you all the characters which are having I mean this will be one uh, it will give you this one then this uh, then this one because all of these are having one one uh, value right so we have to find the first so there is one method called find first and it will return you the optional class so we are going to use the get so that we can get the exact value 
and the value will be character right so i'll just give result 2 okay uh, sorry it is going to be an entry it is going to be a key value pair right so this is the key this is the value it is going to return you the key value pair and i'm just given it to be result 2 so now let me print it result 2 let's run it yeah if you see this is the character which is the first non-repeated character how we can say it is not repeated because its value is 1 so these were the question which was asked to me in the JPMC I hope uh, you are clear with these question so yes that's it if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you